documents. Um, I know that that's up on the website. So uh, we're going to go to the phones where we have uh, the president of the Mayor's Council of Guam, uh, Denny Lo Mayor Melissa Savarez. Good morning, Mayor. Hi, good morning, Chris. Hi, Mayor. How are you Thanks doing, Mayor? Uh, we're hanging in there, uh, but we're there to support uh, all the needs of our residents as well. Um, you know, I've been listening to Linda. I spoke to her yesterday about the documents needed for residents that are have um, you know lost income and and are needed to uh, to get their food uh, commodities or their their food stamps. So uh, so you know our offices can have continued to work. Uh, residents continue we continue pr to provide uh, verification. So you know we do we're not open to walk-ins, but we are there at the other end when you call the offices. And this is all the mayor's offices. Our residents uh, can call their respective mayor's offices, and a staff will answer. We will get the name of the head of household. And then we have the email listing of the various uh, Department of Public Health offices that take care of SNAP, uh, the SNAP program. And um, so we email directly to the caseworkers. Uh, we found out yesterday that, uh, well, last week, that Salvation Army and Catholic Social Services are providing uh, uh, some food commodities also to those individuals who have lost income uh, due to COVID, and they uh, do their application process does not require a mayor's verification. However, uh, you know, we at the beginning we were supporting that those efforts as well. But uh, working more closely with the Department of Public Health on the uh, food stamp, the SNAP program, um, we are di emailing directly to the caseworker once we know which residents need are in need uh, of their documents. So you're seeing a surge of people contacting your office? Oh yes, oh. Uh, we do. Have, in our office alone, we do. We've been doing over 150. Uh, verifications per day of day. residents calling, yes. Just Ma for Mayor, public Mayor, assistance? So let yes. me let me ask you. Cause uh, because it's also including the renewal. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, crazy. 150 mayor's verifications a day. And, Mayor, is this uh, a similar number uh, with your, your colleagues on the mayor's council? Or are we seeing well, this course, village village? The smaller villages, uh, they have a few, I mean, less. I know that uh, Jigo is up to that number as well. Wow. So, uh, but it's also to include those that have uh, received their letters of uh, for appointments for their renewal as well. Right. So it's not just for the emergency food stamp; it's also for those who are receiving uh, well, what you, what scheduled appointments, and they're using the drop box and email mm. process as well. How would you break it down, Mayor? Of those 150 a day, how many well, are new? At least about 30 who are displaced workers. So per day. 150, uh, 30 a day times four. So you're seeing uh, over 100 uh, displaced uh, workers yes. asking for the verification. Uh -huh. And that's just in your village? Yes, that's Got just it. in Dedito. Man, so what are your uh, your constituents saying, uh, Mayor? Because, uh, man, hurt hurts our heart, uh, you know, to go another month under these uh, conditions. You know, money is drying up. Mm -hmm. well, well, you know, one thing is that because they're not out on the streets, they are saving gas, you know. Uh for those that usually go and drive around to work and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, one thing that we're also seeing is the increase. We have three schools that serve the school lunches as well. And so the increased lines of uh, vehicles coming in to the schools, there's more uh, families lining up mm. than we've seen in the past several days. So. Uh, we at least we know that families that are in need of food for their children are taking advantage of that. Have you heard people are being turned away because they ran out of food? No. Uh, last week there were a f two days. There were two days where some families were turned away because they ran out. But what happened is now they have limited uh, no more than ten plates per vehicle, and then no more. Then we have families that also walk through the gate to, uh, because they live close by. And so there are no more than five plates per person. So, you know, you it, it's they're not hoarding the food and taking for their neighbors. The neighbors actually have to walk in or 
drive in themselves right. now. Yeah. Man, Mayor. All right. Um, and so we're out there, you know, GDOE and their contractors are feeding from inside, you know, are passing out those food. But all the mayor's offices uh, who have uh, food disbursement from the schools are actually outside the, the fence uh, helping with traffic control. You were talking about how you're not seeing people, at least they're not out on the streets, but there are people that are out on the streets, the homeless, homeless population of Guam. Have you heard any other um, or have had any other conversations with Adeloupe on what we're going to do or what the uh, plan is? Not, not as the mayor's council, but they have communicated uh, with us via um, our executive director that they are still trying, you know, trying to find uh, a way to house these people. Still, of course, still, we're trying, we're trying to discourage the congregated housing because of the social distancing, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, and you know, I've seen over at our, our Goma San Jose, the shelter is not taking any new clients from what they already have in place. What's the capacity at Guma San Jose? Uh, they have 10 rooms that are for families and then ten, uh, six individual rooms for individual uh, persons. And so they also have I believe it's four homes that are for the larger families just outside the uh, the structure of the shelter, and uh, those all those rooms and homes are occupied at this time. Uh, okay, Mayor. Yeah. So do we got to call Angel Sablan, uh, Mayor? Because uh, you know. It's very, very, uh, and, and there's so much going on, but we keep asking about the homeless. We asked mm -hmm. a few times, and the answer we got since a couple weeks ago is that um, it's in the works. Mm -hmm. There's no programs out there that provides for emergency housing. I know that there was a time when if there was a fire at, at, um, and that someone lost their home, they there would be emergency housing that would be available. We so had not Guam. We've worked with Guam Housing and Gura in the past, mm -hmm. uh, but, of course, they're... Their offices are closed at this time. Okay. All right. Is there anything else um, you'd like to get out with what's happening in uh, Dedero? Because it sounds like a whole lot. Yeah. Where well, are we on, know, the, on the COVID, uh, Mayor? Where are we on the COVID? Well, we, you know, we follow the executive order. Uh, we're still out there providing support. Uh, we've seen an increase in our senior citizen center participation as far as COVID meals uh, delivered to the seniors. So seniors who were not registered at our senior citizen center have actually registered to receive uh, meals for their senior citizen for themselves. How many more? Uh, How many in new? the last few days, I think Dedido's increase on COVID meals was 20 additional seniors and Astumbo was six. How many total, Mayor? So in Derido is tw 226 meals, and um, and then uh, in Astumbo, I think we're still up to 140. Okay, yeah. so it All just right. looks like more people yeah. are needing assistance. You know, yeah, this uh, is, uh, yeah. I mean, we've been saying it, and now you're going to see that now that we're going another month, uh, people are going to become desperate. Uh, they're going to come out. They're, they're looking for food. They're looking for money. Uh, mayor, can can we talk about the lines of communication? Because I heard some things last night about uh, the mayor's council of Guam, and and you know we've had so many of your mayors, uh, your colleagues on the show, and they're all kind of saying the same thing: is that uh, they're kind of left in the dark by Adeloupe and this response yeah. and the, the communication. So where are we on that? Has it improved? So, so one of the things is that they are concerned because the numbers continue to rise, and the concern that the mayors have is that they want to know how many individuals in their village have tested positive. And I understand with HIPAA rule law that we cannot know their individual names, but we need to know at least because the, the reports that are coming out are by region, north, central, and south. And uh, the concern is, you know, the Mariso mayor knows that he had two, but, uh, you know, they're a small community, uh, and they want to know who the two were 
or at least what area of the village they live in so that they can make sure that they're not roaming the streets and infecting other people. Uh, the same way, and all that's the village concern. That's the concern is, is that we're still not getting the answers as far as what village they actually come from mm -hmm. and what area of the village. Uh, I had a call last week from the Umatic Mayor saying, are any of those southern uh, residents that tested positive from Umatic? I, he heard that two of them were from his subdivision. You know, Umatic is a very small subdivision. And uh, he said he stayed up all night just watching to see if people that were walking around are coughing and, you know, who they were. Mm -hmm. uh, for the fear that, you know, it could infect his entire small subdivision. So those are the concerns. Uh, so what was the response? Exact, pardon? What was the response? Uh, we still haven't gotten a response on that. And that goes, uh, that that uh, inquiry has gone on to our, uh, our um, emergency operations. And so we have Homeland Security and Mm -hmm. and ad loop staff that are on that request, you know, on that chat. So so when you put the, uh, your, your concern on the chat, you get uh, left are, on are red? Are they leaving you that, on the blue? That particular one has not been answered uh, for the mayor. Welcome to the club, mayor. All right. How frustrating is it, uh, mayor, for you guys? You know, we keep saying this. You guys are such a valuable resource for Adeloupe to fold into uh, the COVID-19 response. I mean, you guys are out there, you're you're with the people you're seeing. I don't even think the governor goes around to see these people lining up to get meals every day. I don't, and I think she needs to get out and, and see where our people are, how they are suffering. Because when we ask her about local uh, assistance, I don't hear the compassion. I don't, and it's, uh, it's just frustrating that, you know, we continue to beat our head against this wall and and try and, you know, sound the alarm that our people are hurting, Mayor, they're, they're hungry. I was going to ask, Mayor, if you could just send us, if you could, if you could have one of your staff that are actually working um, at the grab and go or, or wherever, if they could send us some pictures so we right. can just show what's what's happening out there. Yes, please, Mayor, because okay. we're, we're in our own restrictions here as a, yeah. as a media. So as a company, we're not going out into the field because we're, we're doing our part to help avoid the spread. But and, you know, we, we definitely... Uh, respect the work that that you guys are doing and it's so valuable it's oh. so valuable that the mayors are out there uh they're out there helping with this grab and go where you know doe is giving away uh, 150,000 meals mm -hmm. a week that's yeah. 150,000 meals a mm -hmm. week because people on our island are hungry and they don't have food yeah okay yeah and it's not just in that you know i spoke to the inner mayor mm -hmm. yesterday about you know uh, her concern was getting the cars into the campus before the time to start. And we, I met with DOE, yes, the DOE board yesterday, and uh, they are addressing all those concerns because it causes traffic jam on the roads. So, yeah, we are working with different agencies, but yes, um, uh, we do feel the concerns and this, uh, of questions not getting answered. Okay. Okay, we'll Mayor. take some pictures and please. Sense. Yeah, little yeah. video shoot sideways. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, all right, thank so you, Mayor. Mayor, 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 Mayor God you. bless you. And you, you sure you're okay? Oh, we're okay. Thank you. Okay, wash your hands, okay. Mayor. Yes, we will. All okay, right. thank you. Yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's pissing me off. Honestly, I'm I'm just so I've yeah, been they're so they're turning angry away about people it. from mm -hmm. the homeless shelters. Um, sometimes they don't have enough food to serve. Uh everybody that's coming through the grab and go